Hey guys, welcome. If you're new here, I'm Christine. I'm owner and content creator of bloomingbrilliant.net where I share educational resources, parenting advice, and of course, information about homeschooling. I'm a homeschool mom of two. I homeschool my 12-year-old daughter and my eight-year-old son right here in Brooklyn, New York. And I love to share our homeschooling journey with you. Today, I'm gonna to be jumping in and sharing about what you can do in your homeschool and how you are in control of it. Because a lot of people ask, like, all the, these rules and regulations, and while, the, he, especially here in New York, there are a lot of rules and regulations, you're still in control and you get a lot of say in what you do in your homeschool. But before I begin with that, if you're new here and you're interested in homeschooling, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when we post new videos. So what do I mean by having more control over your homeschool or having more say even though you have rules and regulations to follow for your state. One of the top tips that I give is to make sure you look up your state's laws for homeschooling. I live in Brooklyn, New York. I follow the New York City guidelines for homeschooling and we have a lot of hoops to jump through, a lot of paperwork to fill out, and it seems overwhelming and it seems scary, but once you start doing it, it's not really that bad. But I digress from that and to explain that a lot of people when they start homeschooling they worry about having enough days of school and worrying that they get doing enough hours because we have a certain number of hours to do for certain for each grade level and that's understandable you know figuring out while you're planning what how many days you actually need to be doing school and all that is important but you do have a say over what days you give your kids for instance i give my kids their sick days if they're sick. I give them mental health days. We take off for birthdays. We take off for holidays. Whatever fits into the schedule, how it works. Like if our birthdays are in the summer, so that doesn't really matter. But if like we have something to do or someplace to go and we just can't do school, the the power of being the homeschooler is that you have a say in taking those days off. Another thing is in choosing the curriculum. There are certain things that you have to teach your kids, like according to here in New York, they have a whole bunch of subjects and topics that we have to cover, but how you do it and what you use to do it is completely up to you. So you have the power to teach what you wanna teach and how you wanna teach it, which is really, you know, a benefit of homeschooling. So I just want you guys to remember that so I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and always share with others who you think will find this beneficial. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Happy homeschooling. Bye.